hour to 20. It's been six months since Jamila Bolden was killed. The nine-year-old, you'll remember, was doing homework in her mother's bedroom when shots were fired into their Ferguson home. Since then, a group of St. Louis City police officers have worked to bond with her classmates. They're here with us. They're here with us physically. They're hugging. They're giving high fives. They're really building those relationships. For these officers, imagining a better St. Louis starts with the children. News 4's Alexis Zotos tagged along on a very special field trip with the students and officers. I have a dream that one day every valley shall be exalted. I've always wanted to be here. This is one of my biggest dreams. It was a dream come true type of day. I like this song. For the fourth and fifth graders of Coke Elementary. Yellow cab. Boycott. A field trip all the way to Memphis, Tennessee to the National Civil Rights Museum. A lot of them had never been out of town before, never been on a road trip before. A lot of children their age also haven't been through what they have. Last August, their classmate Jamila Bolton was shot and killed in her Ferguson home. We think about her a lot. She was a great impression on everybody. Everybody loved her. The nine-year-old's tragic death struck a chord with St. Louis City Police Officer Solomon Thurman. The community doesn't stop or start at the city limits. You know, it goes beyond. So he and the members of the downtown bike unit raised money. We really wanted to pour into them and uh, to show them that we care. And that's how 34 elementary students ended up at the Civil Rights Museum with police officers as their chaperones. A chance to walk through history. But the museum also holds images strikingly similar to the events that unfolded in the streets of Ferguson, just a stone's throw from their elementary school. What do we want? Don't shoot. They were able to make those connections, and just because they have seen, you know, in their own backyards, a lot, a lot of the um, unrest and protesting, and it's very comparable to the um, things that were going on during the civil rights movement. It's a new understanding of those very familiar messages and themes echoed within the halls here at the Lorraine Motel in Memphis that those children and those officers will now carry with them back to St. Louis. As they say, the children will lead us. You know, so it was a great opportunity to understand that they could actually lead us into a better future. It's a future these officers hope will be improved by allowing the children to see another side of them. The students see them as a person. They, they don't see them just as a uniform. Seeing the spot where Dr. Martin Luther King Jr. was shot. And I've seen the promised land. This place and this trip both stem from moments of tragedy, but it's clear something positive is happening here. This is what Jamila would want. She would want us to continue to be happy and celebrate her memory um, in good ways. Memories made in Memphis that could go a long way to building a better community back home. A lot of times we see tragedy, you know, on an everyday basis, dealing with young people, you know, that being this gives us a spark of hope as well as knowing that we can help and St. Louis as a region can be a better place. In Memphis, Alexis Otos, News 4.